Hello, how are you? I am great, thank you for asking. So I wanna discuss something. After my last video, after I uploaded and everything, I'm like, well, I left something out. No, I think I did say it, but I still wanna talk about it. I had mentioned that I had, I think I mentioned, I don't know. I probably got you confused now too, right? I was talking about the extraterrestrials working on my back at work through the chair and such. And then I said they were um, sending a vibration also in my front right lower abdomen. And I don't know if I said that before that was going on, I have for about four days been having very sharp, painful, quick, pains in that area, painful pains. And I'm assuming that's what they're working on. I know we'll say they still are working on it. Um, today at work, a couple of times, they I, I felt the vibrations and I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, surely this isn't anything else. What could it be? And I'm not talking about very short lived vibrations. I'm talking about 20 to 30 seconds, maybe even a minute long vibrations. And sometimes it would go for a few seconds and then stop and then start again and last a little bit longer and then stop. So it's been a variety of times, lengths, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I don't know what that's about. And there's nothing in that area that I have still. I had hysterectomy in 2012, so it couldn't be that. So I really just don't know what, what is going on. I know we'll say this also. Last night, of course, I meditated again. But last night, laying in bed, I, I think I was playing my color by numbers, as always. I have I have a vase that's probably two and a half, maybe, maybe even squeezing three foot tall. And in that vase, I have a lot of pet toys. They're, I know, I'm gonna explain what they are so you'll know what I'm talking about. They're the toys that are on a stick, like a fishing pole. And on the end of the stick is a long string with a toy at the bottom. Well, I have about seven, give or take one or two, in there stick first meaning the string and the toy are outside of the vase. The stick only is in the vase. And I'm familiar with the sound of them because <laughs> I say this too. My bedroom door, if it's not propped open, it automatically wants to shut. Not completely, it'll have a gap maybe this big in it, or wide, whatever. When I vacuum, my vacuum is behind that door because it's not propped all the way open because if it was, my bathroom door wouldn't open. So you have to leave the bedroom door a little bit, it's hard to describe, just a little bit open. And I have that base stopping it from closing. And so when I get my vacuum out, I have to move the vase a little bit and the sticks will roll around. Well, not last night, but the night before or even the before after that, I can't remember. No more than two days ago, I vacuumed. And I had put the vacuum back, but for those two days, it hadn't been moved. So last night I'm in bed doing my color by numbers and I heard one of them move. And I raise that look over there and Mouse is even looking in that direction and had been for a while. And I say that because when I got out of the shower, I meditated on the bed and she got up there with me, but laid in the same spot. She laid on the edge, staring in that direction, which I found to be odd. When I heard that noise, she was, well, after my meditation, I was laying down. When I heard that noise, she was still in the same spot, still looking in the same direction. And I'm looking around, seeing if I see haze or the uh, atoms or whatever you want to call them, the energy. Didn't see anything, but I will say I smelled them. And if you're new here, yes, I do smell them. And these are the ones that I smell often that smell like frankincense. And I'm here to say that it's a extremely strong smell of frankincense. It's not like a dab here or dab dab, you know. It's like they poured the whole bottle on them. 
And sometimes I'm thinking maybe when they're really close to me, it does burn my eyes. And no, I'm not exaggerating. It does. It burns my eyes. And sometimes I have to close them when it happens, but it still burns. It's not excruciating. You're just like, oh my gosh, it's like they're right here in your face. So I didn't see anything. And I rolled over, finished my numbers to my medicine kicked in, my sleeping pills, and I rolled over went to sleep. I don't recall a visit. Since I've started meditating again, I have been feeling, seeing, hearing more than normal. I, I would say that, but then if I look back, there's other times I hear and see things too, but not as often as lately. So kind of lets me know, hey, since you're working also now finally on yourself, we're going to start back up and do what we've been doing for you. That's how I'm taking it. Something odd also happened this morning. Um, when I woke up, my alarm went off and I got on my phone and I usually look to see if I got any text because my phone is on vibrate and if my kids need me, I know if it keeps vibrating, if it's an emergency, I will, you know, answer because it's right by my head on a pillow. Well, not like by my head. There's my pillow and the pillow next to me, it's on that pillow. So I got on my phone and, you know, lit it up. I'm like, whoa, what is that? I saw a tiny little like pinhead, maybe even a little bit, you know, those pins that your mom or grandma would stick in the pin pillow or even in clothes. You'll see those pins wove in the clothes with the ball on the end. Maybe the size of that ball. Clear orb, solid round, but clear orb was going around on the screen of my phone. And so I'm blinking like, what in the world? No, no, why? I mean, I never seen one on my phone screen. So I looked away and I rubbed my eyes a little bit and looked back and then it comes back. And I'm sitting there thinking, I, I don't, okay, yeah, I see you, but what a pecu peculiar, peculiar, pecu peculiar, I know I'm saying that wrong, but you know how I am with my words, place to be. And it was just going around my screen, but it was like it was following my eyes. Like if I looked left, it would go left, or so I assume. But now I'm thinking about it, I don't know if it was zigzagging and my eyes were following it. I don't know. If it happens again, I'll analyze better for us, you and I. But I'm not angry anymore since that last video I think it was when I said I'm better but still feel it a little bit I don't feel it at all now there's a few things that stress me at work but I put my headset on and listen to soothing um, music that has tones in the background like meditational music and other music creators that use the equipment at home and will make sounds into music kind of thing I don't know how to explain that to you. That actually drowns out the negativity that I'm around, helps me work better, and I just, I tone out the negativity that I'm around. Now, I won't say who or what or anything because it's not right for me to do so. I'll just say that. And this is something for you to know too. If you work around negativity, whether it be the energy, because there could be nobody around, but you just feel bad energy. You put some soothing music on and what makes you happy, raises your vibration, and you don't feel that anymore. And surround yourself with a golden white light. You can do white light or do both. Sometimes I do both. Do your thing, do you, you know, but put your armor on. That way nobody's going to take your energy or <laughs> whatever. I got this gimbal that I said I was going to use when I was going to walk around the house with the phone on it so it will be smooth. But after I said that, I read the instructions and there's like 30 steps you got to do 
to uh, rebalance it before you even use it. And I'm like, oh my God, are you serious? It's like, do this three times and do it this way five times and then do it, you know, until the red light blinks three times. And you're like, why so many steps? I don't understand. So this is all that I have for you today. And I feel good about this video. I feel, and I don't feel that often, but I do feel good about this video. I'm going to try to uh, do a couple of interviews soon. One is with the girl who interviewed me, Audrey, and then I would like to interview Giuseppe. I don't know if he took me serious, but I mentioned it, and he, I think he said it sounds fun. I can't remember. Giuseppe, I can't remember if you're watching. Sorry. I kind of want to do that off and on on my channel and uh, see what happens with that. I've done two in the past, and... Um, I, I would like to kind of do more and more. I'm getting a black backdrop that's going to be behind me, like a photographer's backdrop. Saying that because when Audrey did her interview with me, you could see my big old chrome looking food rack and my big appliances like my mixer and stuff. And I'm like, that doesn't look good. I don't like that. <laughs> And so I'm getting that, and I should get it within a week. And after I get it, I'm going to start interviewing people. And Michelle, if you're watching, I still want to interview you. That being said, I'm going to let you go. I love you guys tremendously, and I'm going to send you love, light, and peace. Bye.